Welcome to the Single Track Session number 114 part of the Trail Manners Podcast. I am Eric Manning. With me is Joel Hatch. And uh, we are going to buzz through this one. Yes, i got to be somewhere. Joel has plans. I do. And he look, looks sharp. I like your top. It's new, right? It's got to be. I haven't seen you in it. No, I've had it for a year. I see you once a week. So. Yeah, true. <laughs> in clothes. Yes. In not running clothes. Right. So. Yeah, you haven't seen me in running clothes for three months. Yeah, so it's been a while. Um, speaking of running, I went running this morning. I'm still in shorts, but I'm yes. still fawn out. So <laughs> it's a little chilly. It's uh, it's a little chilly on the on the trails. I only saw two people this morning. So That's the best. We're starting to separate. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, people. One was a lady running, and one was a guy hiking. Who actually I came up on. He was peeing, and I startled him. And I think he might have got on himself a little bit. I felt bad. I apologize, uh, but I didn't see him either until it was too late. Right. Uh, some interesting notes uh, as we start the show. First off, um, those of you that don't know, we've been doing this podcast for a while. On November 24th, which is a little over a week away, we will be starting our fourth year wow. of this. Um, so we've been doing this quite a while, and uh, yeah, kind of fun. Fourth year we're starting, and uh, yeah, we'll move on from that. Um, just this past week, I, you know, we we record these shows in advance, so sometimes we miss things, right? Because we're right. recording them, and then yeah. there's a week till our next one. Yep. One thing that I've, I I I feel bad for missing just on my is uh, was Veterans Day this past weekend, so we didn't get a chance last week to say Happy Veterans Day. Right. Uh, definitely want to express our express that this week. Um, me and Joel obviously know some people that have served and still mm-hmm. serving um, with the armed forces, and we want to say thank you. Happy Veterans Day. Um, on top of that, I was <clears throat> fortunate enough, I posted a little bit, not on Instagram, where some of you follow, but I was fortunate to carry a four to 500 pound flag up a mountain. That looked heavy. It was super heavy. <laughs> like it started, <laughs> it they said it was 500 pounds, and then yeah. the last I heard was 400, and I'm like, just, it's, it's just give round, me something. round it to five. I thought it was like seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it felt. If you guys need some extra, like, kettlebells to hang off of it, oh, I gotcha. Man. Well, it was kind of funny because when you, they don't want slack in it when you're carrying it because it makes it heavier. Well, in mm. front of me, there was like a young kid. Oh, he was, he was a shorty, like, huh? He was like 10. Yeah. And so he basically just had his hand resting underneath oh. it, and so I had to scoot up and. Yeah. My shoulder's still sore. I'm sure but, it is. Uh, so how did you guys get that string across the canyon? So they did the search and rescue did that a day or two before. Okay. And essentially what they did is they bolted in the wire on one side. Yep. And then they tied spider wire, a heavy fishing line, to right. a drone. That's Okay. And flew, flew that it across. Over. Yep, yep. And had a wench over there. Right. And they just pulled the cable tight that okay. way. And then they I was curious about yeah, that. Yeah, it was it was a it was an interesting production. Right. Um, hiking it up wasn't bad. I mean, we it's like 1.7 miles, 1,000 feet of vert. Right. But once you get up there, from when we stopped, um, it was close to an hour. We were standing there, 7 a.m., yeah. Coldwater Cold. Canyon. <laughs> There's a name, reason why it's called that. Yeah. Wind was blowing. We were freezing, just right. waiting because it's, it's a huge production to get it ready. Yeah. And then the wind's blowing, so I was talking to the gentleman from Follow the Flag that set it all up. And, and so that's where the flag came from? Yeah, Follow the okay. Flag. Um, super nice guy. And he's like, yeah, this is only the second canyon this has ever flown in. And the last time we did it, it took us two unfurls because it snagged. Oh. And I'm thinking, man, I'm praying for one today, baby, Right. Exactly. it's chilly up here. Um, but, uh, it was super cool. Um, probably one of the neatest things I've ever been a part of. Yeah. The pictures do not do this flag justice, well, folks. Cool. I know there's a lot on there, but if, if you're in this area, um, I, it, you know, it's only going to be up for a few more days once this podcast launches, maybe one. Right. But uh, if you can get up there and take a look at it up top, it's, it's ridiculous. I've never seen anything that large before. So, so anyway, happy, happy veterans day to all the veterans out there. Um, hope you, uh, just want to say thanks, uh, essentially. And uh, since it is coming up, um, pretty quick, just uh, everybody that is traveling for Thanksgiving, uh, be safe. Yep. Don't eat a turkey and drive. <laughs> that's a little bit worse <laughs> under the influence of yeah, the gobble. The tropamine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the name of that. I, I guess it's tropa, tropamine. Yes. Yeah, I think it starts with a T. Yeah. It's a long word. Trip to fan. Trip to fan. Trip to it should be tripping out. Oh, man, I can't believe I forgot this. Anyways, someone someone yeah. will correct this. But, yeah, uh, yeah so, uh, yeah, everybody have safe travels, and if you're doing turkey trot, have a good time. Um, let's jump right into the winner of our Beaverhead contest. Yes. So the rules on this were you tag friends mm-hmm. in your in the single track sessions, right. and if you get the most likes, yeah, you win. So I'm thinking, when I, we start this contest, we've never done one like this before. It's a little right. different, and I'm thinking, ah, someone's going to get like 12, 20, <laughs> maybe 30. Right. Well, I was wrong. 
Um, first place was 108 likes. Right. Second place was 73. <laughs> so the first place that wins the free entry is Garrett. I believe it's Matty is the last name. Um, 108 likes on his. So Garrett, go ahead and uh, email me, manners at trailmanners.com. We'll get you hooked up with that free entry to either race. Um, you've got, we'll give you like uh, two weeks. Okay. That should be plenty. If you, you, I see you have a second place. I though. do. The second place. I'm not going to say the name. Don't right. get anybody excited. But we do have a second place. So if I don't hear from Garrett in two weeks. Right. Two then, weeks from uh, this the Thursday? The 15th. Yeah. Okay. Thursday the 15th. If we don't hear from you, then it's going to our second place right. uh, winner. So congratulations and thanks for everybody that participated and jumped on that. Um, big race weekend. We got the North Face 50 uh, coming, coming up. up this weekend. Or are you talking about last weekend? Huh? Last it's, weekend was Tunnel Hill. Yeah, Tunnel. Well, we can go back and Tunnel. There was Tunnel Hill. Right. So that's a hundred mile race. Right. Um, that's in Illinois. Yes. Illinois. Flattish course. F- yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty sure. Is it is it a mixture of was that rail trail and trail? I'm not as familiar with the race. I think it is that mixture. But it's it's I was a just fast looking, I was course. looking for your validation. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting it from okay. me. I'm not putting my name out there. The couple of people that listen to this will call me out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a hundred mile race. It's a flat and fast course. Yeah. It, I think it is something Mixed. like the rail trails, something and like that. Regular old trail, but it is flat. But it is definitely a fast course. Right. Um, on the women's race, um, pretty tight race, man. This, this is crazy. So first, second, and third, we go 1652, mm-hmm. 1657, and 1703. Top three were spaced out by 11 minutes That's for a awesome. hundred mile race. This isn't yeah. a 50 K. They were duking it out. So it was, uh, Neela D'Souza, Steph Whitmore, and Megan Smith. Right. Um, are the top three. On the men's side, um, there is a new, not just course record. Right. There's a new hundred mile trail World's best. World's best or American's best? I was confused on that. I, I heard it's um, it's it's a good it's a good record. How's North that? American. It's fast. Yes, yeah, so I think it's fast. So Zach Bitter. Yeah. So this is 100 miles, folks. This is his wheelhouse. 100 mile race. So it's more than 99. It's a 100 <laughs> miles. Yes. Uh, 12 hours and eight <laughs> minutes. So that's pretty quick. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Did you see any video of him? I didn't. I saw a little bit. Yeah. He was running so fast. Well, God, I'd think so at 12:08. Yeah. Right. He's uh he's the next superhero. Yeah. He's Flash's competitor. Yeah. Um but yeah, 12:08 on a 100-mile course. 12 hours 8 minutes. Yeah. That's uh boy, that's better than some of my 50-mile times, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like squad peak. Yeah. You know. Um so, yeah, so Zach did that. Um, Ian Sharman was the former North American 100 mile um, from Rocky Raccoon. Mm. And, and Zach beat that by 36 minutes. So, wow. um, second place was 1256. So, let's right. let's get this straight. So, Zach, <laughs> Zach did 1208, but second place was no slouch. No, not 1256. At all. I'd like, be happy would, with that for a 50 mile time. So, if you, if you ran a 100 mile race in 1256 and you took second, you've got to be like, Whatever, dude. dude. <laughs> and I heard reports that it was a little cold, and they're thinking that's the only reason he didn't go under 12. Yeah, that's probably why it had to be yeah. cold. Yeah, because otherwise you should be able to shoot under 12. <laughs> right, like right? 11, 15. Yeah, I mean. It's really insane to talk about let's that. Let's not give that, them that ex- term, so I'm I'm like 11, 50. It's, what kind of excuses are we going to use next? I don't know. It's cold. <laughs> I can't go under 12 hours yeah. at 100. I train harder. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't warm enough. He's a Phoenix boy, right? Yeah. yeah. So he could have gone much faster. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, is that one time he had to stop and, and take his shorts off. That's yes. what it was. So um, third place was a little bit further behind <laughs> at 1458 yeah. for a 100 miler. Um, Alexander uh, Blyweiss. Yeah. Come on. I mean, it's one of those days, man, mm-hmm. when you're, you're running fast, second and third, and you're still like, seriously? Yeah. Someone trip that dude. Someone check him for <laughs> something. Uh, but yeah, that was that was huge, unbelievable. Um, and then real quick, I mean, this weekend we we're getting on it, but uh, there's also the JFK 50 mile, yeah, this which weekend. is the 56th year. Two um, big races this week. It's the largest ultra marathon in the country, right. and some of the most some of the most history. Let's yes. put it that way. A lot of a lot of fast, a lot a lot of road runners on that right. one for sure. Mm-hmm. Jim um, Walmsley, he's won it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that's a couple of his Coconino Cowboys buddies are going to be there this weekend. Yeah, I'm going to go for Jared Jared Hazen for the win. You are? Yeah, yeah. I don't know some of the names running just because some of them are 
kind of that road road yeah, yeah you know but there's like you know the pusey brothers are running yep. eric sensman's running uh-huh. i mean there's again some of those road dudes can come over and be sneaky right oh for sure right but can, do they have the grit yeah to last that long that, that's, that's that the pace. question yeah so it'll be it'll be interesting um and, and Sensman won a lot. He's a he defending did. champ, so and he ran pretty fast. Yeah, so it'll it'll be it'll be definitely an interesting one. Um, okay, here we go. So uh, the big race we've mm-hmm. talked about for a few weeks, yep. not not detailed, but uh, let's start with the women. All right. So North, this is the North Face 50. North Face Fifty Mile Championships. They could have a little smoke in the air this weekend. Yeah, they could. Unfortunately, that's yeah. ugly. And uh, boy, our our thoughts. And, oh. Prayers go out to everybody. Have you seen some of the videos yeah, of those so people sad. driving through it, mm-hmm. he's trying to escape? Heard saw the one where the girl was crying yep. and then the dad was trying to calm her down. Yep. And oh. it's just in Malibu area is so gorgeous. I mean, yeah. we just, I was just there two years ago, and uh, I hate seeing some of that. I mean, schools burning down and yeah. finding like bones in cars. Yeah, you know, or outside the car. Yeah, yeah it's, God, it's just it's devastating. Uh, makes my heart hurt. Um, but the the North Face 50, the women's side, mm-hmm. um, I think. I hate to say it, but I think this will be more competitive than the men's field. Really? Like deeper. Let's let me say that. It'll really? be tighter. Yeah. And I, I'm, you know, some of the names will go through. Um, I think Ida Nelson's going to run away with it. Did you oh, like that pun there? Run away with it? I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, no. Who you got? I don't know. That's the thing. There's two. I mean, so here we go. We got Ida. We got Claire Gallagher. Yeah, Claire's um, top. Was Claire's podium for me. Uh, Keely Hanninger. Ooh, she's going to be sneaky. I know. That's Because I think she did really well last year there, uh, if I remember correctly. Camille Heron. She's yeah, so coming off some things. She's okay, right? right? Yeah, and she's not a bad runner. No, I've heard she's okay. <laughs> Yao Wang is going to be yeah. there. Ooh. Um, yeah, and I think, to me, Anna, see, Anna Mae Flynn, I think, yeah. could be sneaky. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? She's always just right under the radar, but then crushes everybody. Um, you've got people that have some fast... Sandy Nypaver, Sarah Keys. Yeah, she's a good one. I just think it's it's one of those things now where it's almost like who's going to run their race again, right? Yeah. Because I think it'll be a little tight up front. Right. Um, and there's a there's a laundry list literally of people with credentials, mm-hmm. you know, that just could run, you know, Sally McRae's running it. So you got people that have come off injuries, right. been out for a while, different parts of the country, um, different parts of the world. <laughs> I, I can't say Ida won't like you're like Ida's the Ooh, she's she's the boss yeah and I'm, I that it's like almost mark, you can't go against her yeah, that 50 mile you know mark I mean? she owns it right now but in my head I'm, and I I don't know I don't want to be a homer but I could see Camille just running away with it you know what I mean if she's on well Camille's got I think but, fa- she's faster yeah but she's also had some struggles this year she right? struggled some injury and she time struggled off. running on semi technical I think that's what this course is I wouldn't yeah. Say it's crazy technical and hilly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, Claire Gallagher took second, and she's taken second at the race. Yeah, so she knows the course. Yeah, and she she's does. A killer runner, and she. Yeah. Some pictures I've seen. She's been training. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm not. Gonna, I don't have a favorite. Gotcha. I want them all to do well. I want them to well, like four way hold they're hands tie. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want. <laughs> Want that barn burner at the end? That'd be awesome to see, like love two or stuff. three, yeah, within a minutes mm-hmm. with with miles to minutes. go. Seconds, uh, just uh, yeah. that'll be good. So anyway, it'll be a, it'll be good. Um, so uh, good luck to all the ladies there on the men's side. You know, everybody's everybody's guy Jim's running, yeah. right? And uh, it's his race to lose. It is. I mean, he's he dropped from UTMB. It's been two yeah. and a half months, and. He's rested. Yes. Right? Yep. And then he's ramped up. Yeah. So, and this is his type of race, this right? This is his wheelhouse. Because we've talked about the hundreds, kind yep. of the fade and hanging on, but I mean, right. 50 mile for him. Oh, so it can be huge. a breeze. Yeah, it's huge. Um, some other names, and this is and this is no knock on the men's field. Like, I think the women's, that's why I think the women's will just be tighter. Right. Right? I think you have a, still a great group of fellas running. David Laney's running. Yeah. Um, Dylan Bowman. Who is my go. my sentimental favorite? Just because knowing yep. the guy. Um, let's see who else. Patty O'Leary, one of the yeah, coolest still that, names right? in ultra running, in yeah. my opinion. He's uh, he's my guy. Um, the mm-hmm. Irish, um, the dude from China is coming over. Yeah, I saw that. So I, that could be a wild card. Yep, that's. So we don't know how well they'll perform here against that intense competition. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's had a solid year. Uh, 
His last name is Y U N Yoon. Yeah. His first name is Y A N, and he's got a Q in his middle name, and oh, I'm not going to try it, right. but uh, he's he's got a legit shot. <laughs> right now, he's just the Chinese guy. Yeah. Um, Jorge Maravilla, who's from the area. Yeah. Right, and he's a fast he's marathoner. A fa- he's a fast guy. So it's just that next little step. Yep. Our homegrown Mark Hammond here from Utah is going to be out there, and he yep. just came away with a win up in the shoots uh, a week or two ago. Yeah. Uh, maybe even longer. Uh, Mako's going to be there. And he's kind of yeah. been quiet. I don't know. Uh, so anymore. That's what I'm saying. I think there's a lot of guys, but I don't know if it'll be as tight up front there's, as the There's women. like pretty much a lock at number one, and then there's that field after. Well, and I think it's it's like you said, is we don't it's have his like race Zach to Miller, lose. We don't have Hayden Hawks. Ferrix is out. Right. All, all those guys that would be closer to that one position. For that type of race, for yeah. that distance, yep. Um, because Dylan, I think he's like 100k. He's that's his kind of thing. I think so too. That 100k distance, mm-hmm. Dylan's so but good you know at. What? Maybe he'll surprise us because he's run really he's, good at Terra he, Yeah, which and he's is, from that. It's 100k, which is right? 100k, but it's, I think it's a little bit hilly. Mm-hmm. It's not like huge climbs. Um, and I think he finished second a few years back mm-hmm. at, at, against uh, some good competition. Yeah, so. at the North Face. So he's got so. the leg speed. Mm-hmm. Um, and he back, he moved back to Colorado. Oh, so he, I didn't know that. Yeah, so he used to be out in the Bay Area. He moved yeah. back to Colorado. That's where he's from. I think the Aspen area, yeah. somewhere in there. So he might have that training at altitude, oh, going sure. to sea level. Yep. See how that mixes over. See, it's going to be entertaining for right. sure. Both both of them will be entertaining. And this is one oh, yeah. where there will be a woman in the top ten. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, for, yes. I think so. I, think I so mean, too. we talked about it Western. I think this is a legit shot the right. women the women's getting, field is getting closer and closer and this women's field's awesome man because yeah. they're gonna be pushing each other if courtney was there we would definitely say for sure yeah man, can you imagine with i mean just the mix i mean if right. camille was 100 percent, yeah well we say it all the time if runners 100 percent going in but yeah, yeah courtney uh, it's it's gonna be a good race either way but like i said i think it's wamsley's to kind of lose lose i'm um, on the women's side you could say it's ida's but I don't know. There's some tough women out there on this race. It, it's going to be good. Yes. So good luck to everybody running out there. Um, and then probably the most anticipated race um, of this weekend is going to be the Antelope Island 50K. That's a good one. The Fall Classic. Yeah. Um, 230 runners in the 50K. Yeah. 100 in the half marathon. It is sold out. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's by our home. That's our buddy Jim Skaggs puts yeah. that on. And uh, I think this is I think this race is better than the spring race. I like it better. You yeah. get to go on that backside. Mm-hmm. Um, you spread out, I think, more too. Yep. Which is nice, and you don't have that uh, where you're coming back onto runners a little bit. Right. Um, the weather is another thing that it's could generally be pretty good. Generally good. Um, it's just a fun day. It's, mm-hmm. um, I'm looking forward to it. Jim roped me into MC in the finish line, <laughs> so I'm going to be out there lubed up and. And uh, both with uh, IPA and Squirrels Nut Butter. That's right. And uh, Safety will be, first. And I'm probably wearing some bike shorts because I'll be sitting a lot and see if I can push <laughs> the pad near the back a little bit. And uh, we'll see the finish line. We'll have a little bit of fun at people's right. expense. But uh, there'll be a lot of fun people out there that we know. Oh, yeah. Um, so if you're there, if you're running the race, uh, c- make sure you say hi. Um, I'll be there. I'll be the guy with the microphone, which is going to be rare. So uh, good luck to everybody out there. We're looking forward to it. And then last week I mentioned that uh, my boys' team was playing uh, Aaron Hill's daughter's team, Avery. Right. Man, they've got a super good team. That that girls' team is good. Right. Um, it was my, soccer. Yeah, it was soccer. Yeah. And my boys' team, um, we held on to a 1-0 victory. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was that close. Yeah, it was close. It was close the whole game. I yeah. think they probably. I didn't keep stat, but I don't know. It's probably pretty close on shots, on goal. Are, they, are these um, similar age groups? Same age group. Oh. But it's so funny to see the difference in maturity. Right. All oh, the girls are much more mature. Oh, my the boys the, are. The dudes. girls honestly hit my dudes in the mouth with elbows three times. Yeah. And it was all accidental. Yeah. You know, they're like turning, and my dudes are little. Even my guys for their age are little. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. But they they just grow. It was yeah. just such a fun game, and their team. My goalie made a couple of really good saves. Uh-huh. Like I got to give him some credit for sure. Uh, but it was a great game. They have a good team. A lot of fun had on both sides. Right. Um, and then we went into PKs after just because they're going to tournaments. Like, yeah, just let's do practice. some PKs. We did seven deep. Yeah. And uh, the boys walked away with – did well on that one too. So good. it was a good game. We might even scrimmage them again because they're good. But uh, uh, Avery's a good little player, man. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good little player. After the game, I gave her my – 
I met the women's national team back in the, they call it the golden years, right? right? When they won all the World Cups, Mia Hamm, Julie yeah. Foudy, and I had them all, had dinner with them one time and had them sign a jersey, so I gave that to her after the game. It's been sitting right. in my garage, yeah. right? So, you know, someone Give that might somebody someone that's enjoy be it. totally appreciative. Yeah, yeah and right? she knew, and I was asking, I was like, does she know these? Because, you know, their girls now are yeah. 13-ish, right? right? So I'm like, do they know Mia Hamm and, yeah. and Brianna Scurry and the mm-hmm. girls I grew up with? And she's like, oh, yeah, she knows who they are. I'm like, okay, done. It's hers, so... It was a fun time. So uh, the boys had two indoor games that day and won that. So we were three and zero on Saturday. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, had a, had a good weekend. <laughs> boys played well. Um. All right. What are we going into now? Um. We've got a few trail man. Ask trail manners questions. Mm-hmm. Um. Folks, the Nordic Valley Seven K still has spots. Come on now. Let's get on that. <laughs> we got to register. We got to fill it. We got to fill this race. Let's get a chant. Fill this race. Come on, get get registered. Nordic Valley 7K. I'd love to see you out there. That's December 15th. It's coming right? up, and the T-shirt cutoff is even closer. Mm-hmm. I don't have the date on my head right now. It's on the website, but you don't want to miss out on a potential T-shirt or award because it's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. And if we fill up, then we can do it next year. If we don't get enough, it's not going to be worth it. But I already have yeah. a killer T-shirt idea for next year. Do you? Like okay. ridiculously, it's too late this year, but I got a really good one. Um, Studio 78 is still in the shop. I haven't heard word on uh, the checkup. <laughs> I called on Friday and asked, and they said, uh, he, you know, my dad's with a customer. I'll get I'll get right back to you. That was Friday. Right. <laughs> Phone jet to ring. This is par for the course, Five but days it's later. worth it because they do a good job, and he, he treats you well. So right. uh, still waiting on Studio 78. Um, and, again, folks, we're going to talk about it for a little while here. We are partnering up uh for the next little bit with Path Projects. Right, an apparel company. And uh, please check them out. Um, but if you go to pathprojects.com backslash trail manners, backslash, backslash trail manners, yes. there is a, it's a landing page set up just for us. Ooh, and nice. you can enter, just by going there, enter to win a hat. They're okay. giving away 10 hats just to trail manners listeners, All just right. off that page. Nice. So go in there. Enter to win a hat because they're pretty cool. I just got one. And then go check out their gear. I uh, ran this morning, and I wore one of just the T-shirts under right. a jacket. And my guy is so comfortable warm. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And the hoodies we just got, the long sleeve hoodies. Those look good. Oh, they feel even better. I I wear my shirts all the time. It just sells. I've got one on right now. Yeah, you do. I can yeah. see it. And they're, they're good. So check them out. Um, Path Projects, they are a consumer direct model. So they don't go through retailers. Mm-hmm. You have to get it online. That just helps you keep the cost down on everything. Right. Uh, their shorts have some killer, some killer, killer pockets. Mm-hmm. Um, they think everything through them. There's three to five pockets, depending on it. They fit your phone. It doesn't bounce. Right. Um, long sleeve shirts. Again, get the hoodie. They have a, they have two hoodies. They just have the new one that launched. That's the one I got. Get the hoodie. You right. will, you can wear it anywhere. Yeah. Cold day at the beach. Mm-hmm. You know, after a run, during a run, anything you want to do. The other cool thing I like about it, they don't have these big, gaudy logos everywhere. Right. You put it on, no one's going to know. They've got these little teeny logos. Yeah, they're really subtle. That are really mm-hmm. subtle, um, and they like that. And they don't do these bright colors. It's just traditional right. stuff. Um, it's a running company from Huntington Beach, California. Check them out, pathprojects.com. And again, pathprojects.com, backslash trail manners, enter right. to win a hat, and folks go there. They're helping us out. Let's help them out. Show them some love from the Trail Manners crew. Right. Even if you don't buy something, go check it out. Surf their site. Learn yeah. about what they are and I what they the do. I think the hoodie should be mandatory. It's so comfortable, dude. Yeah. And it's funny because I don't know about the, the one you got, but the brand new one has where they have the thumb hole right, yeah. for your hands. Well, let's open it up and look. So Joe, Joe hasn't even opened it. He's got it here today. There's the paper. Yeah. So on the on the new one, I put it on, and there was a hole. There was a, like thumb holes, and there was yeah. another big hole. I was like, uh-oh. And my daughter's like, oh, there's, oh, yours has it too. Oh, look at that. That's pretty it's cool. It's your watch. It is. <laughs> I didn't recognize well, I guess it I gotta I get it on. I got to get an Apple watch now, I guess. Yeah. So is that you, what you're telling me? I'm, I'm I, I was waiting for that. Yeah, get an Apple watch. Okay. I yeah, it's a little hole there for your watch awesome. in your sleeve. So you just on one, your, is it on both? It's just, I think just on the just left. Just on the lefty? Yeah. Nice. Which is where I wear mine anyway. Most so do. Yeah, if you if don't. If you're a right side wearer. Just switch it up. You're a little weird. You can't wear a hoodie backwards either. No. These but are nice. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, they're super nice. So uh, check those guys out. We love them. Yes. Great, great dudes. Follow them on Facebook. And uh, if you talk to them, if you order something, if you do anything, let them know Trail Manor sent you. Send us some love through them. So, um, All right, let's do our Strava. We'll do Woody Footy, and then we got some questions, and we got to get oh, cruising yeah. along here. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Strava last week. Uh, up front, 125.9 miles was D.D. Biederbeck. He also did running time in 34 hours, 17 minutes. Wow. 
And our girl, Erin Hill, is back on top for climbing 20,182 with with room to spare for seconds. So way to go, everybody. Our Strava group is now 530 members large. So, uh, yeah, join up, hang out, do some cool stuff. Uh, Joel, you got Woody Footy this week. Who do, who do we got? Came from Lafayette, Indiana. Henry Howard. Henry Howard from Indiana. They had a beautiful, if it was a sunset or uh, sunrise. Man, I can't tell. It's at one point when the sun was coming up or going down. Yeah, right? and it's really pretty. Help it's out. really pretty. Yeah. So congratulations, Henry. Send an email manners at trailmanners.com with your mailing address. We'll get that right out to you. There are a few people that have won this last week, and I'll just personally apologize. I have not got to the post office. Things have been crazy. I stopped by there yesterday with my daughter. Walked in the front door. Oh, it's Veterans Day. Turned around, walked I right did back that. out. I went to the bank yesterday. Gosh, dang it. So yeah. I will get those out this week. So I apologize. I know the Wolf family's waiting for theirs because I saw them. Right. I followed the flag. Saw him. He's rocking his Trail Manners hat. Oh my gosh! What's this? Sherry Santiago? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What happened? Lots of dancing. Uh oh. On just one looking, of our posts, I'm just or just hanging out? The, yeah, oh yeah. On ours? Okay. Yeah. Joel's Joel's surfing the Facebook. Yeah. I don't do that too often anymore. He doesn't. Um, so here we go. Here's some. We have some really good Ask Trail Manners questions. One of them uh, had me in a little bit of, they call them stitches, I guess, when it's you funny and your, your side hurts. So, Joel, I want your opinion on this first question from mm-hmm. uh, a no-name individual. Do I, do I know this person? I don't know who they are because okay. I don't know so their it's email. real no-name. And they're, okay. they resigned it. Thanks, streakless. Streakless. Yeah. So, hey, guys, what are your thoughts on streaking? And I read that, and I'm like, oh, oh, do shoot. it every once in a while when yeah. the weather's good or the yeah, moon's every time full. Every he takes a deuce in the woods, <laughs> full on streaking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing now. Um, I see in here so many people talk about the consecutive days they run. Oh. I, I know. That's where I was had to keep reading. I have soon seen a few people that run one mile and count it. Uh-huh. Curious if there is any protocol for a running streak. <laughs> Thanks, streakless. So I think you know the person we can probably reference on this is Matt Carpenter. And if you don't know who Matt Carpenter is, you need to do your homework. Legend. Yeah, le- legend in the ultra running world. Still has course right? records. Yeah, at Leadville, <laughs> right? Um, but he had a, a streak that lasted years and years and years. And I think his... His criteria had to be two miles a day. Okay, is what he considered it to be. Um, I think one mile. I don't know. It's, it's not enough. Let's say two. See, I I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. I think it, one's I, easy. I don't feel right? one's enough personally, yeah. but at the end of the day, I don't think it. I think a, a streak is your own personal thing. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's not a competition. You, it's just whatever you set it out to be. It's it's like, your I'm going to run one mile every day for the next five years. That would be something yeah. else, right? No, it would. If you did that. And it depends on what your goals are, right? Right? Because I know I've seen people that are. I saw one where a guy was like 400 pounds, and yeah. his goal was to make his streak was going around the block, and then he's right. made his block bigger, right? Yeah. So I don't think there's like a protocol like you're no. asking to it. I see what you're saying for sure. Right. I'm with Joel. I, I think maybe two should be if you're like a, if you're a runner. Right. right? Yeah. Like I a, think a, for a real runner. runner yeah. I think two should be that because one mile. Yeah. That's half a mile out and back from your house. Yeah. So I just that's kind of warming up if or walking the dog. If you're fast. That that could be over with. In six four minutes. minutes. Four five <laughs> minutes. Okay, let's bump that. Hey, up. Let's four minute six. mile. These yeah. crews. Choof, choof. Exactly. Run stop signs. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I've never put a lot of yeah. onus into streaks because no. I've never wanted one. I don't really care. Right. I think you get too obsessed with it. You get obsessed, right? and I don't know if you really – I mean, again, I think it's up to the person. It's your yeah. personal goals. I mean, I know people that have done streaks, and if you want to be proud of it, do it because it is awesome. It's like more of a yeah. – to me, it's more of a discipline thing. It is, right? but also don't get so hung up in it. But you kind of have to get hung up oh, in it, right? Have to. Yeah. yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's a catch-22 on that one. You come home on your concrete cell block wall and put a little chalk mark, <laughs> yep. and you keep going and count them up later. Right. Yeah, I don't think there's a protocol. I, I'm with Joel. I think if you're, I'll say, quote, unquote, serious runner, I think two miles yeah, should be legit. Yeah, let's make it two. I think that would um, be good. But other than that, I think it's everybody's personal preference on what right. you're, you know, maybe it's to help you get through something, whatever it might be. Right. Um, I don't think there's protocol. There's not like a, I don't know. I don't, don't Google streaks. Well, <laughs> first look up not. Matt Carpenter. Yeah. That, that's your first homework. And then to dig a little deeper into him and see what he did. Yeah. Um, I think that he has some good blog posts. Remember back in the day when people actually wrote blogs? Wrote blogs. Yeah. Yeah. I did for a while. 
then I forgot how to type. Yeah. So I got a microphone. <laughs> much easier. Much easier. Okay. Next quote. Hope that helped. Streakless. That's right. how they signed it. Streakless. And the next one that came through signed, and I don't have their name either. Nice. But the third one we do. Okay. So here's the here's the second one. This is the one that had me chuckling. Trail Manners dudes. Dudes. Wonder wondering if you plan on doing your yearly Christmas gear show. If so, any chance you can do it near the beginning of December so I have time to go off your list. Oh, to, to buy everything. Yeah. <laughs> or buy stuff for us. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it hasn't like happened that. yet in no. three years. So. We've tried. <laughs> we've, we've tried. You almost got a truck last year. I, I, it was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is where it gets good. I botched it last year and didn't get my guy what he really wanted, which oh, was is, ironically on your list. This is a lady. His words on Christmas Day. This is funny. Oh, okay. No. His words on Christmas Day. <laughs> Did you not listen to the podcast I sent you? <laughs> <laughs> quoted <laughs> that's so awesome <laughs> this year he gets what you guys tell me and i know he will be happy thanks sucky santa <laughs> oh we got to go back and see what we listed last year <laughs> this is this is p.s you have never met him but it's like you have no you know him better than me what gives <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so first of all shame on him for saying di- on christmas day yeah right being disappointed did you listen to the podcast I she, sent you? she's a good sport about this she is I, I i think that you know we need to include something on the list for her yep we will yeah so sucky santa i don't know who you are right but we'll include something being a race uh you said your guy so a significant other supporter yes the right real. Um, but, yeah, we'll do our Christmas gear episode. And those that aren't familiar with it, every year Joel and I go down a list of what we want right. or what would be good for someone that runs. And right. we do men and women, mm-hmm. and we do stuff from apparel to gear to whatever. Right. Right? So we'll, we will do that again this year for sure. And Eric's already ahead of the game. He's I got am. super <laughs> duper <laughs> decorated already. Joel's looking around my apartment. Yes. And, Everywhere uh, I look, it's Christmas in his apartment. Yep. In the front door. Yes. Got a Christmas all rug. All the bedroom doors. All the bedroom doors. Have a little Christmas. We got the countdown to Santa right now. <laughs> stands do. at 42. You got the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. The tree's up. Yep. We just have to decorate it. Oh, and I got my first shopping bag. Check this out, I, dude. I was looking at that. Yep. <laughs> I like that. It's got a bus on it. Yeah. Santa, stop here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're gung-ho, and my daughter doesn't listen to the podcast, which uh, I get. And so yep. today I'm going to get her her gift, and I'm not going to say because it might get back to her, but yeah, it's legit. And me and her made pumpkin pies this past weekend. Yeah. We've never baked pies. Yeah. We both love that type of pie this time of year, and I'm on my hiatus right now. Yeah, pumpkin pie's good. And so we made two uh-huh. on Friday night. They're How gone. How last? <laughs> they, they last until last night. We took it That's easy. That's really good. It is good. Um, we only bought one spray thing of whipped cream. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's an abomination. Yeah, but uh, yeah. but they were both good. We did a good job. I'm proud of both of us. Actually, nothing burned. <laughs> um, last question. So I hope right. yes, we will. Sucky Santa. Yes, we will. We'll get it knocked out early December, so you have plenty of time okay. to go out and get your your fella some stuff, and right. and we'll put something on there for you. All right, here's now we're kind of more serious. Oh, this is uh, from Mike from Boulder. Mike from uh, Boulder. Hey fellas, this is Mike from Boulder. <laughs> That's that's kind of gave that away. Uh, You have talked about dogs and bikes on trails and a few times with etiquette. But I have another question for you. What about other runners? Here in Boulder, we definitely have quite a few runners, and there is one group in particular that runs together a lot, and they are pretty fast. I'm talking wearing singlet fast. (laughs) (laughs) I have noticed when they run, they do not yield, slow down, or really care that there is anyone else on the trail. Gotcha. I've had many close calls with them, and an increasing increasing number of other runners have noticed the same thing. What do we do? Keep it up, Mike. We got the same problem here with the cross-country runners, mm-hmm. whether it be the high school kids or the Weaver State kids. Yeah. They're running so fast. Yeah. They never step off the trail. Mm-hmm. So if I know they're out and they're going to cross my path, I, I try to be really vigilant. I always step off. Yeah. That, that's how I handle it here. Um, gosh, if you've got a group of maybe the same thing, maybe it's their, the CU buffs yeah. there. Or I don't know. I don't know who they are. I always step off for, for those groups. Um, I think if I was put in danger by them, I would, one, push one of them off the trail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're lightweight. Right? So the, <laughs> you got a good base. I do you have just a plant solid yourself base. like basketball and right, call a charge. Exactly. Bounce them off. Yeah. Just kind of push them off the trail, you know, especially little high school kids. They, I'm they'll thi- scurry away. I'm thick enough. I'd break one before yeah, they hit, yeah, exactly. the, hit the bottom. I, I, speak up. 
that they say, hey, you know, you guys are kind of being dangerous. Yeah. Be, be considerate. I think that's all you can do. Yeah, um, really. I'm, I'm with Joel. I don't. I'm pretty easy going on the trails. Yeah. I don't like confrontation at all, like at all. So if I get a burger with onions, I don't tell them, you know, and I don't ask for no onions. I <laughs> get it. I don't even take it back. Onions. And I hate onions. I'm just not yeah. confrontational. I just there's not enough time in a day for that. Right. Even on the trail, right? So if they come, mountain bikers, peop, I'm I'm just I just get a while off to the side. Yeah, I, I wave the mountain biker so on when I see him. Easier to step off the trail, and especially. And I think it comes down to like if there's two people in a singlet hauling and there's like seven of you. Yeah. That's where it can be a problem, right? Because two right. people should go. I, I look at group size, yeah. right? Like if your group's larger, mm-hmm. you get there right away. Yeah. Because you don't have to wait as long. That's just how I roll, True. right? Um, I know there's like a de- yield to downhill, yield to, you know, there's those type of etiquettes. But I like the yield to uphill people. Yeah, they're working hard. They're working harder. Yeah, they are. Unless they're walking and then sometimes they'll yeah. step off because right. they're not, they don't have momentum going. Yeah. But I'm generally the one that steps off, I would say 99% of the time. Mm-hmm. Even if it's someone older, because we get that a lot here, that's older, just walking. Yeah. I'll slow down right before I get to them. I'll kind of step to the side. I don't yeah, run For the older them. people, for sure, because yeah. you want them to be safe. Yeah, and you just want to be courteous because some yeah. of the trail is super single track. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I think what Joel says is right. I mean, I get off regardless. I'm, yeah. You know, I get off to the side. But if it does become a problem, you, you can say something. Oh, gosh. So if or it you is... could play Red Rover, Red Rover <laughs> and just stand two across and hold yeah. hands and see if you can close line a few. It doesn't take much to knock those skinny riders over. <laughs> it doesn't. It really doesn't. I think if it's a group, like an official group, whether it's uh, the Colorado University uh, high school team or say it's a, like a, a legit running group, yeah. I would send an email to them. Yeah, send to somebody and say, hey, we've seen this problem increasing. Because yeah. we actually had this problem with the mountain bike team here years yes, ago. Yes, we still and, do. <laughs> yeah, and they, this certain group of people, it's not a high school team, but this is a certain group of people will not yield, slow down, anything for you. They haven't right. in the past, and I'm not saying they haven't changed. There was actually messages sent to that company right. saying, hey, your, your mountain bike dudes are just out of control. Right. Um, and I know one of our friends actually clipped one of their handlebars one day because it yeah. just got ridiculous. Um, but, again, I don't know. I, I hate to see people get hurt. Yeah. So maybe you speak up the best you can. Yeah. And really, is it if it's that, it's not that big of a deal, maybe you just step off the side and let them go. Right. You know, even even stick your hand out for a high five because that will oh. even hurt them. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> if they're skinny runners, yeah. that will certainly hurt them. <laughs> that will get a little rotator cuff issue. Yeah. I know what that's like, so. No, I think it's a great question, though, because we have, we've had talked about other things. But really, at the end of the day, you know, I step off for pretty much anybody because... You know, you can carry a squirt gun. That'd be kind of fun, huh? That would be fun. Just kind of sp- just, right just, in the eyeball? Yeah. Just do <laughs> that. Get gross. Ooh, put, put a little, just a touch of cayenne pepper in there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's not good. No, I think that'd be good fun. For them, for you, maybe you should, like a couple minutes later, you'd hear them fall <laughs> right through the trees, <laughs> tumbling down. Uh, but a great question, Mike. I hope that does help. And I know, you know, other people may have. That's why we have people ask questions. I never thought of that to, to bring up. Right. Um, so we really appreciate the questions that come in. We've had a few people that have emailed answers to some questions, which is awesome. Um, but you can always post on our Facebook page <clears throat> or even our website um, mm-hmm. with comments because I know people check those. So. Yeah, I think that's it for this week. Thank you, everybody, for the questions. Keep sending them in. We, we're gaining more and more every week, and I think that's good. Um, we always have fun answering them. By no means are we the law here, but uh, but we usually we're pretty close. We usually have pretty we use common sense, and then we can throw in some a zinger here or there uh, to make it fun. So again, Garrett, thank you for participating and and uh, send me your message so you can get your beaver head because um, that's pretty much sold out. Right now, yeah, um, he actually held 100k spots for some Western States runners, mm. but everything else is pretty much sold out if it's not already. Right. Um, so yeah, other than that, if you're at the Antelope Island Classic this weekend here on Antelope Island, please stop by. Please say hello. If I we haven't met before, I would appreciate if you'd introduce yourself because that'd be a lot of fun to meet more people and just to say hello. And it won't probably be me because I'm pretty uh, recluse. So. Um, I think that's it for this week. We want to thank our amazing sponsor, Sign Garage, for taking care of us on the Woody Footy. Uh, we do have spots open for the Nordic Valley 7K, and we do have a few spots available for sponsorship for the Ogden Trail Running Festival in May. Sure to be a big hit. Other than that, we are done for this week. This is uh, Eric and Joel, and we are out.